Hey folks, it's Nick Granville. Um, I've been meaning to do this for a little while, but I've, I've decided to do a series of guitar lessons on funk guitar. Funk guitar is a big part of what I do as a musician. Um, I consider myself a jazz fusion musician, meaning I play jazz but blended with other styles like funk, soul, rock, blues. I'm drawing on all these influences because really that's what I grew up with, you know? I, I mean, I was born in 1978, so the 80s, the Michael Jackson, that sort of stuff, earth, wind and fires, all that stuff was real big when I was a kid and when I was a teenager and um, I really did, so it's a big part of my playing. I couldn't just do this in one lesson, so to me it needed to be a multiple series of lessons, so I'm going to do five, but today's one I'm going to deal with rhythm guitar from a, the scratch rhythm guitar as some people would call it. So 16th note based. Uh, the second lesson I'll look at bubblegum parts, then there's some stuff on, we used to call them bubblegum parts, I never liked that term. To me it's single note funk, but um, you know, David Williams, that sort of thing, but um, we'll look at that in another lesson, and then some conceptual things, some chord voicings, and so on and so on. So if you haven't subscribed already, please do, it really helps out. Um, I've never done this to get subscribers, I just, if people dig it, that's the main reason I do this, and if people get something from it, that's why I do it. But, you know, if you subscribe, then I guess it all helps in the whole grand scheme of YouTube, so. Scratch guitar, so it's built off the 16th note grid. One E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Right, so one E and a, two E and a, three E and a, four E and a. Four notes per every beat, right? Right, and within that, we want to accent out certain notes. So the first exercise, if, if, if you want to get the sheet, you can go to my uh, Facebook page, I'll put it on there. So that's Nick Granville Music at Facebook. Um, and I'll just, I'll put it on there, free download, PDF, whatever. Um, whatever format you want it, it'll be on there. Um, it's basically just 10 different exercises to get you doing, learning how to do this. Um, the first one is just uh, 16th notes with accenting every first beat. So one E and a, two E and a, one E and a, two E and a. Right, and I'm just accenting, I'm using an E9 chord in this case, so E, G sharp, D and F sharp. But you could use anything, you could use a sharp nine. Uh, could be in the key D, any key, the keys are relevant, we're just trying to get this part going and the, the accenting. The second one is the, as you, you'll see in the example that's about to come up, but it's this offbeat. All right, so it's the, the E, one E. And do these at different tempos. So I'm doing them slow for demonstration, but try them fast. And as always, you want to make it feel good. If it doesn't feel good, then adjust till it does. And part of making it feel good is how you place it within the beat, but also being consistent. You know, if from bar to bar it's moving around too much, then it won't feel good, so you need to make adjustments with that as well. Um, and so on and so on. And there's a bunch of these different exercises. Like I said, go to my music page and get them. Now, I should say it's really important when you do this stuff that you don't just do this, right? It's a really good exercise to do to work on your funk rhythm guitar, but it can often be way too busy if you have those 16th notes going all the time. We don't need to fill up every beat, right? So when I do this exercise, I always make a point of doing it and then I do it without all the scratching in between. So for example. So I'll do that and then I'll go. And I'm hearing all the other beats in my head and not necessarily playing them. Now what I do with these is I choose any particular one and I'll just play it with a drum machine or whatever or a loop or a click, you know, metronome and I just go over it until I can make it feel like it should and then I kind of stop for a minute and then I try it again and see if I can do the same thing but get straight back to that same feeling right from the beginning, from, from beat one. If not, 
I do it again and I keep adjusting until I get it to the point I want it. Uh, if you want to listen to Corey Wong, he's someone who does a lot of that scratching all in between. It's pretty cool. He also has a real loose thing with his wrist. He's a, he's a good one to check out of the modern players that do this. But I'll go into some players in one of the later videos. Um, you know, Catfish Collins and uh, Nile Rodgers and people like that who are big influences on me in terms of this style of playing. So for me, what I do is I'm using a Dunlop Jazz 3 XL, the pick I use for everything. It's not really my preference of pick for this sort of playing. I much prefer a lighter pick, but I don't want to change picks depending on what I'm playing. I use one for the whole lot, and this works for soloing, rhythm, the whole lot for me. And I hold the pick quite loose. It's kind of like that. I'm not really choking down on it. I'm not pressing real hard with my chords either. I am kind of striking the strings kind of a little bit harder. I actually have my hand closed kind of like that. But I have seen, like I said, I mentioned Corey Wong who does that. Works perfectly great. I've seen people do things like this, like this, I, whatever works for you. So that's kind of my right hand technique. Yeah, so that's a really good idea to, to get your funk playing going. Um, and what you'll find out of that is you start to get more solid with your rhythm. You start to be able to accent certain notes out of the grid at will. Because the 16th note grid, you have 16 notes per bar. And there, you, know, you want to be able to accent wherever you, you choose to. Um, or wherever the music needs it. Really is probably the better thing to say. Because, um, you know, sometimes if you do too much, it can, can get in the way of everything else. But I'll talk about that in a later lesson as well. Anyway, if you found this useful, um, please subscribe to my channel and hit like below and all that kind of stuff. Um, go to my music play page, which is Nick Granville Music on Facebook. Get the PDF or, or photo, whichever I upload, of that image of the, um, the 10 different exercises to do. Put a click on, try J Drum Genius. That's a really good app for, for some grooves that you can play along to and change the tempo. Uh, make one up in Logic. I often do that, make my own loops up in Logic. Um, the backing track that I was using here, I can make that available if people want it. Let me know uh, in the comments below or on my Facebook page or whatever and I'll find a way to get that to you. Maybe I'll upload it to my Facebook page or something, I don't know. Um, it's just one I made up. I took an idea of a drum groove, played a little bass and some keyboard and whatever you, what have you. So it's not really anything fancy, but maybe it's useful to some people. Uh, yeah, so Lesson two coming very soon. I'm just about to film it and I will um, upload it as soon as it's done.